Welcome, Maxi Runners. Thanks for tuning in. Less than three days until race day, and we are trying to squeeze in every little bit of content. We've got Liam here in a virtual meeting, and it's a virtual meeting because Liam actually lives in Plett. He's coming all the way down to Cape Town to run the Maxi 30K. And he is going to be the youngest runner to take on that 30K at 16 years of age. We had to get a doctor's note and a note of approval from his parents. And yeah, now he's on his way down. And I really just wanted to get this content out because I know Liam's on a mission to inspire younger athletes to kind of reach for their dreams. I know he wants to be a professional trail runner himself. And I thought that by getting this interview out there, we could hopefully inspire some younger runners to take on the maxi and the maxi being known as quite a family race. Obviously there's some longer distances, but there are the shorter ones as well, including even a five kilometer fun run. But um, Liam's taking on the 30K. I've been watching him for the past year. Uh, Liam, you you reached out to us almost a year ago now to join the, the Zlan team. These are ambassadors that inspire people to to get back out there. And we felt that Liam, you know, his whole mission really aligned with ours. And we've been watching him. He's been getting podium after podium. If it's not first place, then he's, he's generally been on the podium in the shorter runs. He's now taking on longer runs. And I know you recently took on the Mutt 25K and I think you got an 11th place there. Yeah. So let's let's get started with your, your background and your journey into trail running. Can you tell us a bit about, you know, what got you into trail running? Was there a defining moment or a person? Yeah. Um... I started um, kind of taking my trail running seriously um, around about four years ago um, when I was living in France and lo um, for lockdown. Um, so yeah, all those, there were some really cool trails around where I lived. Um, and so, yeah, I just started kind that, of... That was out in Annecy, huh? Hey? Yeah, in Annecy. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so around the lake, lots of mountains and cool trails there. Um, we often did family hikes there, and I'd always kind of run part of them. Um, so yeah, I've um, always enjoyed my running since since I was little, and I used to run cross country. Um, yeah, and now I kind of enjoy the enjoy the more the longer, more challenging runs as as I've grown into sport. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I still enjoy the the quick, fast ones. Um, the shorter distances, but I've always kind of wanted to push myself and see how far um, I could run. And you, you've been pushing yourself harder more recently. Um, I know you obviously had the option to take on one of the shorter runs at Maxi, where you you probably would have had a much better chance at, at getting the podium. But you're obviously yeah. keen to now to now start pushing the distance. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, kind of wanna. I've done quite a few. I think it maybe six six or seven twenty k. Um, 20, 25k runs. Yeah. Um, and I really enjoyed that distance. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. Is there, um, is there any came. particular race or any of those 20k's that's most memorable for you? Anything that stands out the most? Um, yeah, I'd say probably the mutt. Um, I really awesome. enjoyed the mutt. Yeah. Um, I kind of like the whole the vibe, the kind of the big, the big race. Yeah. Yeah, just the trails. I love being in the mountains, going high up in the mountains, having those kind of views when you get to the top and then the, the yeah. fast rolling downhill. So. And yeah, Liam, what, what keeps you motivated to to train and race? Obviously. Oh, you took inside. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Sorry. All good. All good. Liam, Liam's at school right now. He's a, um, he's not a, not a boarder, hey? No. Okay. So what keeps you motivated to, to train and race even when they're going gets tough as it often does with with trail running you know are there any yeah. personal goals or reasons that you run um yeah i've always i've always kind of um like like to have a challenge um so i always like to have a plan you know when i when i train for my races and i have a race coming up i love to you know i love like, i love training for them it's like one of the one of my favorite parts is, is all the training yeah um so it's nice to have a race in place that that can keep me, you know, motivated to keep kind of training for it and getting better. Yeah. Um, and you were quite eager for the maxi when we reached out to you not so long ago. Does it fit in well with your sort of training program or is it just one that you wanted to tick off the list? Yeah, um, I've kind of, over the last like two years, I've seen the maxi 
um, yeah. kind of following it on social media. Um, and I thought it would look really cool and I'd like to do it. So um, when you reached out to me, I was very excited at the opportunity to come come down and do do it. So nice. Um, yeah, How and I'm just um, always driving past kind of Stellenbosch and those areas. Those mountains look really, those trails and mountains look really yeah. cool. Remind, so, you, remind you a bit of France. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to get on those trails a bit. Yeah, cool. Yeah, we, we're really keen. I know that Maxi's really keen to, to inspire younger runners to, to take on um, trail running. Is there any sort of motivation or advice you'd give to a younger runner that's thinking about taking it on but, you know, might not be sure about what distance to take on? Um, uh, yeah, I think, I think like one of the shorter distances is always fun to like start with, um, kind of easier to train for, um, you know, and it's more, it's always more enjoyable when you, you kind of, you're feeling strong and you enjoy your race, you know? Um, do you, do you remember so, your first race? Um, yeah, I think my, I've probably a first race. I mean, I used to do, uh, like I did my first race was probably like a cross country race at school. Yeah. Um, obviously a lot shorter, yeah. um, very nerve wracking in those, when, when those used to happen, yeah, um, I used yeah. to get very nervous for those. <laughs> um, even though now that I look back at it, it's only like one kilometer, but, yeah. um, so I used to it's get very nervous that, for eh? those. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's always, it's always fun to kind of, um, build your distance as you go, go along, um, to kind of, you know, keep it, and keep it interesting and exciting to, to keep trying harder things. In terms of building your distances, what is your, your goal? Um, what I I would eventually like to, um, run obviously probably hundred K or hundred milers. Yeah. Um, cool. yeah, some of the races I've always wanted to do. I mean, um, I'd really like to do Otter yeah. when, when I, I think my matric year, so when I'm 18, I'm allowed to do it. Yeah. I'd really like to do the Otter. And then, yeah, maybe one day, um, I love following and watching the Golden Trail series. Um, that's, cool. that's always yeah, looked that's... like a lot of fun to me. Sounds like a good, um, good plan. You got two years to, to train for it. So yeah. I'm looking forward to that one. <laughs> yeah. And then maybe, yeah. maybe eventually in the future, some, some hundred milers and hundred Ks, maybe yeah. UTMB one day. There you go. Yeah, well, thanks, Liam. It's great to finally connect. And yeah, really looking forward to, to meeting you and your family's coming down as well. Huh? Yeah, just my mom. Will be. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when you first reached out to Lance, as I said earlier, I felt like your kind of mission and motivation for running really aligned with, with what we were trying to do. And that's to inspire people to, to get back out there and, and face their challenges. And yeah, we've just been really excited to, to support you along the way and finally get to meet you. We're going to be there, obviously, at the finish line, doing our live broadcast so we can interview you again and find out how the race went. Well, oh, thank you. Um, yeah, it's been it's been really nice to have like um, slant there too, because, you know, as as a 16 year old doing those longer distances, all those injuries and um, things can come up. So it's nice to have have slant who can help me prevent those, um, you know, keep my keep me strong for those so that I can keep doing them. No, thanks, Liam. Thanks. Keep keep fit and strong. So yeah. Yeah, Thank we'll you. we'll see you out there. Hopefully, fit and strong on the trails. And yeah, to all those people who have signed on for the interview tonight, thanks for for tuning in. Um, less than three days until race day, we will see you at the finish line. And um, you'll see Liam there as well in the recovery zone. How do you feel about an ice bath, Liam? Yeah, sounds great. I can't bath, wait. Massage. To have that after boost. after that the thirty k. There you go. Yeah. We'll see you there. Enjoy your taper, everybody. And of course, get back out there. Thank nice. you.